Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The stare off is over and I'm gonna select a different deck. It's kind of more along the equal lines besides the grass portion of the deck. So just to see how things go there. Fire, fire, fire! <laughs> Remember him? I had this deck before we were attacked. Fire! No, my fire isn't gone. It'll spread yet. Fire! You fire me! Fire! <laughs> A battle between two people! Fire! Okay, fine. Fine. Four prize cards. Fire! I cannot resist your fire. <laughs> We're gonna battle! You, you talked me into it! <laughs> and... Let's see what we get here. I prefer to lead with something fire myself, but... Eh, yeah, that Bulbasaur is gonna have to do. That could be a problem. Ooh, not going first to boots. Oh, it's Eevee. Not a fire type. <laughs> it could potentially turn into a Flareon later on, but... Whoop! And... That's not gonna do that much. I mean, <laughs> it will sort of kind of do something, but... It's... Well, we'll see what happens here. I'm just gonna see... Oh, Professor Oak and another Bulbasaur. Um... <laughs> I wonder if I should do the switcheroo with the trainer card. Just make it look like I'm kind of ooh. <laughs> Just make it look like I'm holding off with the critters. And... No, okay. <laughs> I can deal with that. Yeah, weakness, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then yeah, I will do the switcheroo. To that before I Professor Oak, because I don't know if I'm gonna get like an Ivysaur or something like that afterwards, you know? It's just, who knows what'll come out of it? Wow, no more Pokemon? Well, basic Pokemon, I should say. Um, I did get a Switch, but that's not exactly. Well, Razor Leaf. <laughs> 30, I guess. Hey, real. Me, well. Tis happens sometimes. I was probably going for. I thought I was gonna go for the flamethrower. Hmm. I mean, I. It, you can't do flamethrower with three energy, right? I thought. Oh, it's four on this Flareon. Okay, I see. I see. Um. Then. I probably should go Ivysaur with this one. Because <laughs> at the very least, I've got the Vine Whip, which is 40. Which can possibly knock out that flare. Okay, it's gonna definitely knock out that flare. <laughs> and that is how you play when you're at a disadvantage. <laughs> so, is Grout probably not gonna power up this? Oh, he is going to. I thought he was gonna hold off powering up this Magmar in favor of something else. Uh, well, I think, yeah, I think he's going for the Fire Punch, which will knock out my critter, even if I use a Leech Seed. Uh, and Vine Whip it is. Because, yeah, Fire Punch is 30. That'll do double damage. So I'll just get it down in the HP department. And there's the Fire Punch as expected. So, and I'll have to hope for some basics myself. Because <laughs> I've only got this one Bulbasaur. Oh, Pokemon Trader. That I can deal with. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to trade the Charmeleon. I think I'm going to go Magmar. For its nice stalling capabilities. The Magmar is blopped out there. Retreat to Magmar. Yeah, I know I could use a switch, but I'm not really concerned about that. The uh, uh, smog... It, well, I mean, uh, the switching in the energy will not make that much of a difference, because Bulbasaur is already weak and whatnot, so yeah. Oh, I traded away the Charmeleon, but how would I have known that the Charmander was a common? I couldn't. I couldn't. But anyway, I'm gonna go for the poison now. Uh, yeah, I see that Dark Charmeleon has returned, but... I can also gather fire, but that's gonna be a, uh, thing for the future if I possibly need it. No poison. Alas, alas. But if I get poison on the next turn, that Magmar will be toast, which is gonna work in my favor. Hopefully, maybe we can survive long enough, hopefully. <laughs> Um, actually, it should be fine. I think I'm gonna just go for that Dark Charmeleon. And... Yeah! Come on, heads! Come on, heads! Come on, heads! Yeah, it's a knockout! <laughs> All I need is that 10 exits from the poison. Voila! Not that I needed it, needed it, per se. I mean, it's helpful, but... 
Still, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, nothing on the bench there. So he's probably like Professor Oak. Uh, he's definitely going to be fetching with that Kangaskhan if he's that low on uh, resources. Uh, Magnar, Growlithe. But so yeah, he's definitely not going to be... Well, I guess he, it's still nice to do some fetching, but I mean, he's not going to be as in need of that fetch. Oh, now I want... Ooh. Should I go for regular Charmeleon or... Oh, that's right, I already evolved it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second, oh jeez. Alright, I'm going for the poison again. Thank you. So, that'll do an additional 10 per turn. Well, between turns, I should say, so it's gonna do 40 by the end of his turn. So, unless he does a switch or something like that, he... Okay, po potion, so I guess it's gonna do 20, but you know what I mean. Burns the trainer cards a little bit, too. <laughs> There's that. I'm I'm kind of wondering if I should. Uh, oh 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 oh! Actually, um, do I, is Dark Charizard in here, or is it in a prize card? Is it really in the prize card, or did I discard it earlier and I wasn't paying attention? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't see. Am I, is it just me, or am I missing a Dark Charizard? Usually, I could skim through this really quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not seeing that. I see Dark Charmeleon, that's the only thing I can grab with this, because it only pulls out a Dark Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just that I want to see here really quick. Discard pile. Was it? Did I discard it ever, or is it really the prize card? It's the last prize card! I can't believe. <laughs> of all the chances, a 1 in 60 chance. Oh, I guess, uh, a 4 in 60 chance. <laughs> well, you can never predict that sort of thing. Um, although you can, I suppose, check your deck ahead of time with something like the boss's way, computer search, etc, etc, that sort of thing, and then see what you've got in there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go for Charmeleon's regular attack, and I'll keep chipping away with 20 at a time, and the po extra poison you know, even if I got it there, it doesn't double poison or anything like that, so it's just like an extra flip for the fun of it. And... If he doesn't switch, he's gonna lose. Yeah! Because there is the... Yeah, there's the issue with the 10. I'm gonna do at least 20. Unless I switch into something immediately. I don't really feel like that. You just let the poison do its thing, you know? <laughs> And victory goes to me. Thank you, Magmar, for your disruption once again. <sighs> that dark Charizard. It was truly, truly dark because it hid in the darkness. <laughs> Duel lost in my fire. <laughs> Legends of Booster Pack Nido King, uh, you've seen that uh, before. Wait, did I show you that? Yeah, I did because it's, it's the toxic double poison deal, yo. Okay, it's a lot of base set cards in that. Anyway, Dragonair! Woo! Hello there, Hyper Beam! I need to build a deck with you! <laughs> I'll probably plop it in the uh, energy removal deck because it would be really fitting in that. Okay. If you want another bell, just say the password. FIRE! Who would have guessed that would be the password? But four eyes in all caps and an exclamation point at the end. So that might be a better password than you might expect. Oh, wait. Uh, you fire me, fan. Okay, same dialogue. So I just had to check. Alright, Ken. I can't go behind the torches. Alright, Ken. <laughs> I've been all fired up waiting for you to show up again. I've got some boosters with your name on them, if you can beat me. Take them if you can, and let's have a heated battle! Nah. Aww. I'm sizzling for some gameplay over here. Well, whatever. I'll just keep this fire burning for my next battle. Oh yeah! You must get along with this guy! <laughs> Leave come again, Mint. Let's have a heated battle. Okay. Better gather six prize cards as fuel for this blazing bout. It's the whipping wind, the deck of death. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I got my grass critters. That could be an issue, but uh, 
hopefully avoid that. Uh, ooh, that's that that ooh. Double colorless plus scyther is a combo for the ages. Uh, I should probably lead with that then. They can pretty much just wipe out anything that he sets out first, even if it's got 50 HP, because it's going to be doing 60 on turn 2. So, okay, do duo. I'll plop that on there. And I just want... Okay, I was just thinking, I was just wondering if I had anything else that I wasn't paying attention to for some reason. I'm like blanking out for some reason. Or maybe I'm not, because I, the Charizard wasn't in my hand at some point. <laughs> Uh, I'm just like I, I'm second guessing myself all over the place now. Uh, I guess I guess that's a better way to put it. Double colorless slash for sixty. Hello there, aggro bug. How is it going? <laughs> it's a growlith. Uh, it does. I mean, it's got forty HP. It might not. Yeah, I was gonna say it might not last for too long. Um, let's see. Should probably go for the Charmander. Like, the power-up of the Charmander. Should I Swords Dance first? Because then I can knock out whatever he has out, guaranteed, without any sort of switch shenanigans. I should, I mean, no, I'll just Slash, because it's still two turns for whatever, for the most part. So, even if he decides to switch, it would still be another turn uh, to actually knock out, yeah, so... And it's a fail! And that I will take. Ooh, ah, I'm getting the ingredients for the Venusaur sweep. Possibly, maybe. Um, for now, I'll slash and take the doggy to the pound. And I figured there would be another one. Probably going for the Ember now. Uh, another Growlithe. Yeah, because the Ember is going to do 60 de- Huh? Why would- Did I- Am I missing some- then? That, does it require two fire? No? Pardon me? <laughs> okay. I, well, guess I'll get another Scyther going there. And a slash. Maybe he's, he's counting on the two coin flips in a row? But yeah, I was like, why wouldn't he just use the Ember to knock me down the one to at least put pressure on me? And I, I guess he uses it now. And I don't know. No, put on Charmin. <laughs> Ooh, Professor Oak. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that because I'll discard my Venusaur. At least not yet. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> um. But I would. It would be quite happy to have a Charmeleon. That would be that would be pretty lovely too. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I probably should not use Grass Pokemon in general because you know, fire. <laughs> just, just you know, just that Venusaur is sweeping power. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, energy retrieval. Well, that's that's not too bad. Uh, ooh, hungry, yes. And yeah, maybe I should skip out on the Bulbasaur then. Maybe I'll use it for a Pokemon trade or something like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not getting my Charmeleon. Should I just Professor Oak again? <laughs> I could. Maybe. I did. <laughs> that would put me in pretty good position if I got a dark, I mean, a regular Charmeleon. Alright, let's go for it. <laughs> just cycle out of hand that again. I mean, you put Magmar on the bench anyway. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Uh, and I already attached my energy card for the turn, so let's just slash. Remember, flamethrower will make you discard one, so skip that unless you absolutely have to. The Growlithe is going, and I'm gonna just gonna use two slashes on it because of the uh, it's it's just 10 HP shy of one knockout with a flamethrower. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Probably gonna go for. The little bitty flare, yeah. That's gonna take four turns to knock me out, so I'm not too concerned about that. What I'm concerned about, though, is this Hitmonchan. That could be quite an issue. So I should probably get some defense going on here. And do the slash. 
And... let's see what he does. Magmar, really? Is he trying... Oh, he might be going for a, uh... Flamethrower Magmar. Oh, no, no, that's level of 31 Magmar. Yeah, that's not the... Hmm... Okay... So, I could make it a Magmar versus Magmar battle, or a Snorlax versus Magmar battle. Or even Scyther. A Scyther would be even acceptable. Um, yeah, Slash. Let's see what he's got in the next turn. Oh, it's in the prize cards again! <laughs> and he's probably going to go off with a smoke screen. Yeah, that's what I thought, because it's going to be possible stalling tactics here. And, yeah. I don't know if I should go for Flamethrower or just Slash, then. I probably should go for the... Oh, actually, wait a second. Uh... Does it... Does it count if I evolve Charmeleon into Charizard? Like, does it still count as the same defending Pokémon? Because I would bet it doesn't. <laughs> If so, let's try it. One, two, it does! Alright! <laughs> no coin flip for me, baby! <laughs> okay, he's got the other Magmar coming. And that could very well be game over right there. Uh, I mean, he, I got a lot of HP here, and chances are it's not gonna be a coin flip in good time. Uh, actually, I wonder, should I go for the switch to the magma? I think I will, because I can always save that for later, because Magmar has the, the power of pressure with the poison, as well as the stalling properties of smokescreen, so yeah, let's do Magmar versus Magmar. <laughs> and, oh, Ken looked kind of happy with that draw. Oh, he did a switch, okay. Yeah, that cures the poison. And go on the smoke screen stall out. But that's more of a problem with the Magmar than it is. I mean, uh, with the Charizard than it is the Magmar. That's part of why I wanted to switch as well, because I always have to discard two energy cards to do the do uh to do the dirty deeds. So yeah. Uh, I don't really have fires for my dark friends here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the Dark Charizard requires two for the continue. I mean, I could just give it for the Nail Flick, but I don't know. I think I'd rather plop it on something else like the Scyther. And poison, please? Oh, there's a... it got, got through, and poison! <laughs> so that's a double head flip in my favor. I will take that. And... Switching back, to, <laughs> switching back to the other Magmar. I think he's might be just trying to stall out because I got one prize card at the moment, so I got pretty large advantage here. Uh, actually, what I could do is power up Charizard on this, the sidelines and just kind of win <laughs> as soon as I get four fire, uh, four energy because you know energy burn turns them automatically to fire. Animus. So then, when I have that, I can switch whatever I have out into that Charizard and then just end the game right there. Because uh, not much has over 100 HP in the game. So I don't think he's gonna be able to pull something like that out. Uh, yeah, I'm still kinda lacking in the energy department. And I'll save the Pokemon Trader, I suppose. Goes through, and Tails. So, 20 HP left, no poison, so he may or may not switch. I don't know. Okay, Hitmonchan is out. <laughs> uh, oh, um, another thing with Charizard, it's got fighting resistance. So that might be, oh yes, that might be useful. Recycling energy, I mean, recycle energy can be recycled for the recycling. And we will save the environment as well as kind of burn everything at the same time. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> uh, hmm. So, yeah, it's going to knock out the Magmar. I thought he was actually going to switch because of the poison again. That might actually 
do him in there. <laughs> because he's gonna let, leave himself a 30 HP. I've got a Scyther. Yeah, I was counting on that draw. <laughs> That's why I said may have done himself in, because I, I didn't know if I was gonna get an energy card or not. Victory! <laughs> That was indeed a fiery match, Mint. Well played! Flight Mustapaka! Hitman Chana! Hmm. Let's see what we got. Oh, this. No, I showed that before. <laughs> uh, I don't think I showed this slow bro before. Both go to sleep. And you can only use that if you're asleep, so that's kind of hard to use, considering you flip a coin between turns to see if you wake up, so that means you only have a 25% chance of getting <laughs> to be able to use that as an attack. But you have 90 HP, which is pretty decent. That uh, high retreat cost, though, eh, eh. you might just end up using it more as a stall, because Big Yawn guarantees sleep with the defending Pokémon. But at the same time, maybe not get consistent of a stall, because you may not wake up to use it again uh, at the end of your turn, or at the end, yeah. But I guess in that case, you would use Big Snore, so it's like, yeah. Oh shoot, I forgot to check the other, I think those are duplicates anyways. Yeah, I forgot to check the other three. Uh, yeah, it's a Game Boy Pidgeot here. It's chosen at random. It's, yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> does 30 damage at random, and it also does a Suchiru, but at random. <laughs> also, it switches the opponent Pokemon at random. <laughs> You'll notice that the Game Boy cards have a lot of at random effects, because that's just, you know, something that can be done in the Game Boy in a practical manner, but in an, the actual game game, not so much. <laughs> Uh, Game Boy, Jolteon, get poison stuff all day long with that Kakuna. Oh, Gambler's a really risky card. Shuffle your hand to your deck. If heads you draw eight, if not, on card. <laughs> That's like a last resort sort of card. I always play Professor Oak over that. But I mean, it's like, if you need more Professor Oaks, I guess you could splash this in and hope for the best, but I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> I go with... Another I mean, I go with a bill over gambler in all honesty. And oh now I need a Pidgey. <laughs> Battles you with you are always hot. You never fail to satisfy. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we finally get back over to that colorless altar. It's been like a thousand years.